Welcome everyone to a special edition of the Mayor Spotlight. We are at hy V uh, for the Halfway to Freezen for Food campaign. I have to my right here Mr. Chris Streets from 94.7 Mac FM and Mr. Steve Clements to my left from Citizens First Bank who is the title sponsor of the campaign. Guys, thanks for talking with me today. I appreciate it. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. So let's start, Chris. Let's just talk a little bit about the campaign and kind of what you do and, and the premise and how it got going. Well, about 22 years ago, we had the idea to do a food drive to help out our community. And uh, I had read in a uh, trade magazine about a gentleman in Cleveland who lived on top of a semi-trailer. And he said he wasn't coming down until the semi-trailer was full for local food pantries. And within six hours, he filled the truck. And so in three days, he filled like five or six semis. And I thought, in Clinton, I ought to be able to fill one small moving truck and so seven days later i gave up and said okay we're, we'll do it we'll try it again and uh we, we did about uh, eleven thousand pounds of food the first year and then we started uh 12 years ago doing one in the summertime and so we do summer and winter and uh we collect canned goods non-perishables and cash here at high Bee. and uh last year celebrating their 20th anniversary was uh, uh first citizens and so we got together carrie and i were talking it was our 20th year and it was their 20th year, so we thought 20 years of community. So we came up with the little slogan, and now here we are in the summertime, and they're back with us again. It's awesome. It's awesome. So, Steve, what does it mean for uh, Citizens First to, to be a sponsor of an event like this for the community? Uh, something this impactful is very important to us. Um, we spent multiple of our you know, donation dollars, different things we do on various you know, food drives and stuff for the community. Golf outings that go back to food drives. But this one's just impactful because it reaches so many. Um, I don't have all the numbers from last year that Chris said, but I know that they were able to spread it between multiple food pantries. Uh, and it's not just the, the, the food that's donated, it's the dollars too, and how far they stretch. So Citizens First is just happy that, you know, uh, Mac FM puts it on. They do all the legwork. We show up and just speak on the radio a little bit and help promote uh, as much as we can to make sure that the community gets as much benefit as possible. So Chris, uh, you do this twice a year, right? Summer and in the winter time. Obviously, uh, you're not freezing right now. But what, what, uh, where do you get more? Do you get more in the summer? Do you get more in the winter? Is it pretty, pretty even? Or traditionally, we get more in the winter. I think it's because people are thinking holidays. People are thinking more of a need, and so we get a little bit more uh, in the winter time. Our summers picked up. The last few years, you know, we've had a steady increase of uh, cash mainly cash, that's been our big increase. But here's the cool thing about cash, and I tell this to everybody, is we turn that cash over to the, uh, the food pantries. They go to the Riverbend Food Bank, and they can buy food at about 15 to 20 cents a pound. So every dollar is more than five pounds of food. You go inside, hy does great things for us, they're helping us out, but still, you know, a dollar's worth of food is a dollar's worth of food. You get it at the same price, you get it if you're putting it on your kitchen table. So cash goes a little bit farther, we can get a little bit more groceries, and uh, so cash is always welcome. And that, that part is picked up during the summertime. And, and how many food pantries around the area do you help support? We help the Benevolent Society, we help the Church of the Open Door, Gateway Area Community Center, and Comanche Pantry, who are now together, uh, the Fulton Food Pantry. And then if there's anything left over, we just try and get it out. Uh, Reagan Mickelson from, uh, from Information Referral is a big help. Uh, she, she helps you know run all the pantries and make sure the databases are kept up. And so if I say, okay, we got a thousand dollars extra, she knows where to put that and and get that to the people. Yeah, awesome, awesome. And I know Steve Citizens, obviously uh, huge for to be a sponsor of this, but you guys kind of all get involved. I mean, obviously you're down here now chatting, but you've got people every morning, people stopping by. Talk a little bit about uh, the just the efforts and, and just kind of your team getting together for, for this event. Yeah, we have people that, um, I'm going to say fight over the spot, but they look forward to coming down and speaking with Chris. Um, even in the winter when it's cold, it's, it, it's exciting to come down here and say you sat. Uh, you know, we feel good sitting for 30 minutes. You know, Chris is down here for 12 hours, but um, it's a great event. We have plenty of people who want to be a part of it, who are excited to be a part of it. And just the amount of people you get to talk to, surprising people come in and out of high V that you just get to say hi to. And, and not that our faces drive any more business or not, but they do kind of attract people to walk over, just a different group of people that would normally come over and talk to Chris. So we enjoy every minute of it. Um, we like to be able to to come down. The, this is my first time for the summer, I think. Yep. Um, so it's a little different than it was in the winter, but we're appreciative. I know we're going to have quite a few people come out throughout the week and carry with you this morning. So. 
<laughs> I heard Chris is going to provide hot chocolate in the winter one this year. So you'll have we, we actually we try and pour that on our hands and in our pants because <laughs> it's very cold. Yeah. Awesome. Guys, I really appreciate you chatting with me and, and, and us talking about this event. Is there anything else that either of you would like to kind of mention about the event? If you want to talk about how long it's going to go on or generally yeah, goes on. And we're here 6 to 6, Monday through Thursday, and then 6 to 2 on Friday. And at 2 o'clock, we shut down the truck and we get it delivered. Um, we take most of the food to the Benevolent Society, and then the cash we split up and deliver it early next week and make sure everybody gets it. But I also want to say thank you to our other sponsors. Our presenting sponsor is uh, Citizens First. Hy-Vee, of course, a uh, huge sponsor. Ferrari Lumber Company uh, over in Fulton and in Prophetstown, they help us with the truck. And then we've got about 20 other sponsors that are part of both the, the summer and the winter uh, food drives, and we can't do it without their help. And so with that, we just, we, it's a great community turnout. Um, yeah. Whether it's the listeners bringing stuff out or the businesses being part of it and helping us, and then they bring out donations, uh, come out and sit with us. As you mentioned, I know I've got Greg and Heather coming in later this week. I know Eddie will be out here at some point. So it's cool to see that because sometimes even when people just say they sponsor something, it's to throw the checkbook at you and then they forget about you. Right. With uh, with our relationship with Citizens First, they're coming out here, they're sitting with us. I remember uh, this winter when Steve came out, it was your day off. Yep. He still came out, had his gloves on going, I know these were a lot warmer last time I wore them because it was so cold that day, but um, I appreciate the dedication that they show and the help that they show. It's, it's phenomenal. Awesome. It's for a great cause. I mean, we're just, um, like I said, we're happy to be a part of it. Whether last year it was the pandemic, which there was a giant need, but regardless if that's going on or not, there's always a need in the communities, and, and uh, we're happy to be able to support. We encourage everyone to come out and support as much as they can. All right. That concludes this edition of the Mayor Spotlight. Thank you all for listening, and remember these videos are in conjunction with the Clinton Area Chamber of Commerce and the Clinton Regional Development Corporation. If you're not a member of those organizations, please reach out. They've got some great resources for folks and businesses across our area. Thank you, and we'll see you again next time on the Mayor Spotlight.